I'm Chris Carlson, MD. I'm a primary care sports medicine um, trained family physician, and I work as part of the sports medicine team at Dartmouth Hitchcock. Our sports medicine program is a comprehensive program where people see, typically they see me first, and then they'll see one of the surgeons if I think they need surgery, or one of the physical therapists if they need physical therapy. I have an interesting personal background in sports. I was a member of the 1992 Olympic rowing team. I was on the U.S. national rowing team for a couple years before that. So I always thought that I needed to and wanted to make sports part of my medical practice. So it sort of seemed a natural when the sports medicine fellowship started to be developed. I knew what I wanted to do. I ride my bike a lot. My husband and I have done multiple bike trips. Uh, I cross-country ski, and that's my passion. I skate ski. I've never raced, and I kind of don't want to contaminate it by racing because I really, really enjoy it. I also run and I enter some races in running. I think being an athlete makes a big difference in sports medicine because we certainly understand the mindset of the injured athlete, person who wants to get back into action as soon as possible. A lot of people come to us having been told, eh, just take some time off. And that really doesn't sit well with them because they want options. They want to know what else they can do. They want to know, do I really have to sit around and do nothing? And uh, an athlete who shares that sort of mindset makes a big difference in the physician that they're seeing. A lot of the adult athletes that I see also have a time agenda, just like the kids do. They want to be ready for a race on a certain day, and they want to know if I think I, I can get them back and ready for that race. I have this drawing that I draw for people to try and help them understand return to sports, play, whatever, after injury, and it looks like this. This is injury on the vertical, and this is time on the horizontal. And they, however you want to measure injury and however you want to measure time, doesn't matter. You start not injured, and on day one, get injured, and stay injured for a certain amount of time. And then you start to get better. And at a certain point, you might say, oh, maybe I should try and test this out again, but boy, I don't know, I'm still way up here on the injury score. Maybe I better wait until I'm all the way down here at this time. But what I try and encourage people to do is to test it out a little bit. And right here, if they test it, they might go a little bit worse in terms of injury, but usually it's not as bad and doesn't last as long, and they start to improve again. And they test it again. Not as bad, not as long, and they start to improve again. And this kind of keeps going. Their eventual recovery is somewhere off the edge of the paper, out here. But the good news is they started trying their sport here instead of here. And I think the key to that is that you're making sure, if you test this, that when you test that you don't end up as bad and it doesn't last for as long.